Our next major topic in this class is the development life cycle. We'll present an overview of the development life cycle in Boomi, look at build components, consider components reusability, and we'll conclude by looking at a couple of change management scenarios. When we discuss managing the development life cycle, we're talking about how we go about developing and managing change for integration projects within Atomsphere. In a traditional life cycle, we would focus on development of the integration. But then at some point, you want to move or promote your process to a test environment to perform additional testing by the QA team. And finally, when everyone's pleased with the process, you want to promote it to production. Now you want to keep the process in the various stages of the life cycle separate from each other so changes are not made all over the place. In this section of the class, we discuss fundamental atomsphere concepts and different features and functionality that can combine together to, to enable change management. And again, we'll look at some common change management scenarios. The development life cycle ensures that your processes meet the business requirements for your integration scenario. It also supports the ongoing viability of deployed processes. It provides a structure for defining, creating, testing, implementing, and maintaining business solutions using Boomi processes. It's important to note that this is generally an ongoing process and it can be adjusted as needed. The Boomi development lifecycle differs from typical code-based practices and we'll review some of those differences shortly. So how is the Boomi development lifecycle different? You can think of an Atomsphere process as a document processing pipeline made up of shapes and properties. Some are part of the process object and are managed or versioned along with the process. For example, the set properties shape does not exist as an independent object in the component explorer. Now, other shapes are separate objects called components which are versioned separately and can be reused, like a map. Components are independent of the process and can be shared or referenced in many other processes. To configure a complex integration process within Atomsphere, you drag and drop shapes from a palette onto the process canvas and then connect them into a series of steps. Atomsphere is graphical in nature. The implications of this are that code techniques do not work. The source control is built in. You do not have branch and merge concepts. The development is linear. So everyone works on the latest version. There's no check-in and check-out unless you have component locking enabled for your subscription level.